Hey guys, it's Jeremiah. I'm here at the President Wilson with the one, the only Antoine Pin, the watch boss of Bulgari, here to present some of the novelties of the brand for 2023. And we're talking about the Octoroma this year. Yeah. I have to go back a little bit like previously from last year because when you launched the Ultra, it was just an amazing, incredible product. Again, the culmination of eight years, eight world records. The Octo Finissimo is an incredible watch and here at Revolution, in our very humble opinion, it's the new icon of the integrated bracelet uh, watch. But this year we have the Octo Roma. Antoine, maybe you tell me a little bit of why the Octo Roma is so significant in terms of Bulgari's identity. I think, uh, as you rightly said, for eight years we've come out with new world record every year. We, we were following our path. We, we felt we had something very strong and we were not finished with the story. So we, we, we went on and on and on. And why we were developing the uh, the ultra, we thought it's a moment to step back a little bit. And uh, and guess what? In the family, there is not just Octo Finissimo. So if you step back, there is a watch that is amazing that mm. we've been working on, but on the side. And um, and it is Octo Roma. Octo Roma is uh, is the more I would say universal watch. Yes. It's it's bearing the the, the standard feature of uh, of let's say traditional watchmaking in in uh, Swiss watchmaking, with a, a case that is bearing the octagonal codes but in a more rounded shape but it's the watch that hosts all our grand complication mm. developments beside uh, the Finissimo collection yes. and and so we developed the striking in 2017 we developed uh, the new Octoroma yeah. Carillon so Tourbillon which is here in 2000 uh, actually we launched it in 2000 and in, in 20 we launched this version in 2021 yeah. sorry 21 22 yeah. so we've had plenty of developments uh new grand sonneries as well um but in a more sort of discreet way compared to the octo finissimo while we did not review the initial octorama model right. and this octorama model has been quiet somewhat but extremely successful but over the last 10 years, we've, we've grown as a watchmaker, we've grown as an integrated watchmaker, we've grown in our own identity, we have this perception that we've gone up in a mm -hmm. way, in terms of perception as well, and that Octo Roma was, was not, I wouldn't say left alone, but, yeah. but deserved a bit of a refreshing. And when you work on refreshment, with Fabrizio, it's never a real refreshment. It's a complete revolution, <laughs> so you need to start from scratch again. I know, it's this, uh, but two different, like the angel and the devil. You yeah, like exactly. <laughs> no, I love that. I, but you know, I love that because he's got this level of exigence of the man with himself. Yes. He's never compromising. He is compromising, but at the very last moment and the last mm. limit. And I like that yeah. because he's the one driving uh, our aim for perfection. And, and therefore, here design is not a question of millimeter; it's a question of tenth of millimeter. Yeah. And so we've taken the case, we've taken the bracelet, we've, and is and with the studio is done so many iterations, so yeah. many models of this new version of Octoroma, to let's say because we are also very, very, very conscious of the fact that there are extraordinary brands surrounding us yeah. with exceptional products iconic products i mean in the sense of being histor historical products products that are sometimes 100 years old yeah. so 100 years of continuous development and we pretend to be somewhat competing with only 10 years of experience so we are like a junior we're like david against uh, goliath you know yeah. it's a little bit crazy to think that we're going to be up to that level mm. so there was a lot of uh, yes a lot of, a lot of uh, confidence but also concern whether we would be able to propose a product that would, would be, let's say, legitimate on this battlefield. Right. And um, so Fabrizio has, has somewhat taken the, the initial product, the initial Toroma, is um, rounded it yeah. somewhat, is a uh, softened the angles mm -hmm. so to, um, uh, to yeah, actually- Maybe we uh, can see that with, we, the, with the time We can see it on the case. Yeah. The case is interesting because it's keeping it's clearly the octo family yes. and that's super important but the uh the the sides of the case are very rounded uh shapes and the the horns of are actually uh, slimmer and, and shorter for, compared to the previous uh dimension the uh, thickness of the case itself is, is thinner okay so again it's not an octo finissimo but it's an octo that that brings a a, a, a real sense of elegance if you look on the side 
you clearly see a product that that has the weight that some people are expecting to yes. have on their wrist but an integration of the bracelet of the watch of the case that is really really beautiful and um, and the watch is also uh, this uh, displaying uh, a new movement right. a new in-house movement because it's our new in-house chronograph wow. uh, on the base of the of our solo tempo uh, caliber uh, what we bring as well is uh, because we believe it's a modern feature that people are expecting especially again in this category where you're not always a watch collector you like to take advantage of the uh, interchangeability of the of the of the bracelet uh, let me which is extremely Incredible. easily interchangeable because yeah. yeah. you just have to push the button on the back and to pull yeah and it's and then you can shift and transform the watch with a rubber strap or a leather strap depending on what you prefer and it's just a click that tells you you're in you're in or you're out so it's really something that you do in the morning when you want to change watches and it's a feature that oh, we very much like yeah. Remember that as a jeweler, we love this versatility. We yes. love to make necklaces that can become brooches, to make a, a bracelet that can also be turned as rings with mm -hmm. components. Mm -hmm. And so this interchangeability is really something we like to have. Yeah. So um, how, what else can I tell you? I can tell you that there's been a lot of work done on the, 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 the finishing of the different facets of the watch, yeah. like the Octofinissimo. Yeah. You know, it's something that is a real signature of our Octofinissimo as well. We like to build the complexity mm -hmm. out of those uh, simple shapes of this integrating watch. And so we've done it here as well we, with mixing polished and fine brushed uh, facets. Uh, you can see on the profile, our polishers hate us. They really hate us because it's so <laughs> complex to do, but that's what it takes Nobody to build it. Nobody shows the quality. It shows the quality. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I see the circle in the octagon, you know, yeah. very much like the Finissimo. Maybe, exactly. maybe I can ask, what was the thinking behind trying to have a common thread between both the Octo Roma and the Finissimo? It's the same collection. Mm. It is just a different perspective yes. on it. Uh, and, and we believe it's really two brothers that, that live together. One is dedicated to a, to a specific uh, it's a approach. Vision, yeah, vision approach. Yeah to watchmaking, yeah. this ultra slim miniaturization, which then we develop also on our ladies' watches, yes. miniaturization is key. The other one is addressing um, somewhat uh, the more traditional watchmaking, bringing to it different perspective, a lot of modernity with the mm -hmm. striking collection, with this exceptional skelet, uh, skeletized tourbillon, but also uh, the modernity of, again, of our uh, mini tripiter here with the yeah. construction that is nothing but similar to the very classic uh, minute repeater or chiming watches that you can find on the, yeah. on the market. And we are that, uh, and without anticipating too much on the future, it's clearly something that we will continue to develop on chiming watches to think of the performance from a different angle, yeah. which would be the, the, the transcription of the sound, etc., etc. But yeah. here it's a teasing, so I don't want to end up to, talking too much about that. <laughs> we can't wait. Maybe we move on from, from you know, there, the time only which we see maybe the two chronographs here. The beautiful, like, Guilloche Dao, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Yes, I mean, all the watches bearing, all the watch, both the watch and the chronographs are bearing ah, a Guilloche Dao. I couldn't really see on the No, white dial, because yeah. it's very subtle, yes. and you will see it when you see it from the profile. Yes. It's very subtle. We didn't bring, want to bring a Guilloche that will remind too much of some other competitors. Yeah. We wanted this very Again, this subtlety, this yeah. finesse that we like to bring more and more in our products. Yeah. So to be not at immediate, but again, you, we want also the, the people who, who purchase the watch to enjoy the, every detail, yeah. progressively discovering their watch. So we have this guilloche, which is more visible, I agree with you, on the dark dials and on the chronographs than on, uh, on, on the watch, but it's there as well. Uh, we have this uh, beautiful integration of uh, push buttons. Okay. And the push yes. buttons, as you can see, it's a little bit like uh, you feel like you have um, almost and like a, the, the calendar of a, of a the, the, the front of a car. Yes. When you look at them, I mean, remember that Fabrizio is coming from the car industry. Yes. Initially, it was it was born in the car industry, mm. even if it jumped quickly on the watch industry. Yes. But with a very interesting element, which I love to talk about because yes, it tells so much about the way we work. Actually, if you look at the push buttons, they are very 
are high. They're very high and low in the case compared mm -hmm. to many, many push buttons. Mm -hmm. So much so that the angle of, of the cams is yes. very high uh, and the pressure uh, to actually uh, initiate yes. the start of the chronograph is very angled. Yes. So we had to create with our watchmakers and our constructors mm. a specific uh, cam to make yes. sure that it, the pressure would be going on the right, uh, the right angle, which is a perpendicular angle, even if the push button is very high. So that the pressure and the comfort of pushing is excellent and you don't feel this. And but it doesn't. But the aesthetics is respected, and yeah. it's always this connection between our watchmakers and our studio that allow to propose uh, to propose these kinds of uh, of complexity in design that works, even though the design is creating uh, tensions I know, on I, the I watchmaking love it. When, side. When we spoke to Fabrizio, you know, about the Octo Finissimo and you know certain design elements, and he was very very. Um, adamant that he wanted to keep certain design elements and he will go back to the watchmakers to say no we have to redesign we have to rethink of a way you know to make this happen and you can clearly see that with the chrome sometimes it's really pissing it really <laughs> no but he said uh, no, I agree. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm joking uh, what, but obviously I mean we need this kind of uh, we, 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 we need uncompromising people yeah ready to negotiate and to bargain mm -hmm. and to accept the limit to, to yeah. this non-compromise mm -hmm. and that's what i found with fabrizio but also with philippe with Hong, with yeah. uh, julien i mean the team of people that we are it's it's very interesting to see the team working together we we are very demanding and and and, I, and again fabrizio is very very high level of uh, expectations and the same goes for philippe in terms of quality yeah. uh, and, and of course, there are conflicts, of course, yeah. because uh, we can't give enough time, we can't give enough resources, uh, we can't give enough, uh, then we have questions of cost, of course, and then the marketing team goes on board. And, and, but what is great is there is an open discussion, everybody exposes their arguments, and we come to an in, a smart conclusion. Yeah. And it's really the capacity to, do, to, really, to work in team with the full respect of everybody's area of expertise that leads to the best solution possible the best possible solution mm. really and 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 i love to see this yeah. and and the result obviously is good yeah sometimes extraordinary sometimes yeah. just good but eventually we are really finding uh finding the best solution yeah okay maybe we can go on to some of you know the technical yeah challenges again of this skeletonized tourbillon is it a flying tourbillon it is not yeah, a flying tourbillon. It's not? Okay. I mean, it's, it is not. But it's, but uh, it's, it's a tourbillon. Yeah. But it's with the sapphire case case back. You know, yes, yeah. with the sapphire case back, sapphire side as well. Incredible. Exposure of the caliber as much as possible, skeletized as much as possible. Yeah. It's actually, it's, uh, it's a classic almost for us mm -hmm. because it's, uh, it's now uh, seven years uh, that we're doing this uh, striking collection. Mm -hmm. And we bring it now in the new case, yes. which is the, uh, the, uh, the, the new Octoroma case. And so it's a, it's a new a new glass, new structure, a system also that we like very much with this uh, integration to the bracelet. The horns are mm -hmm. very low and they are not actually, and they are following the structure that we've implemented in our Octoroma um, tourbillon uh, carillon, where, where basically the structure is from the bottom and the integration is from the bottom with the space maintained between the glass and the horns. Incredible. So it's, bring, it's bringing a very, very sharp modernity to the piece. Yeah, even the, the luminous uh, indexes are raised, yes. three-dimensional. They're, three, they're three-dimensional. The glass box brings a three-dimensional, yes. but also allows to have a very uh, a thinner case than the previous yeah. model. So it's, a, it's, a, it's also here a complete revamping of the piece that we're bringing here. Right. We're making the contrast between the white luminova and the green luminova to, yes. to make sure that the readability of the watch is maximum. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to bring you up. Oh, something else? Yes, I have something oh secret for you. Ah, okay. Five minutes. Three minutes. Just hold on, hold on for a minute, guys. <laughs> We're getting this for you. Um, maybe we want to move on. We can't obviously talk about Bulgari without yes. talking about high jewelry, right? And and you know there is this place that we we want to to master definitely. It's this inter intersection between high jewelry and high horology. Yes. And um, we believe that there is an exceptional field of of creativity and uh, and wonders 
in when you manage to cross the two things. Yes. So this capacity to uh, to connect uh, the heart of high jury with yeah. the heart of high urology, because we have again here again the the possibility to work in teams all together, yes. allows us to propose beautiful pieces and to bring in the world of jeweler into the calibers which we do with the collection also of Toroma Naturalia yeah. and he, you can see it here with the tourbillon lumière in a smaller case that is fitting both men and ladies wrists yes and uh, what was the size 38 38 mm, okay 38 millimeter and uh, where you can see uh, this beautiful uh, skeleton on uh, movement and uh, with the tourbillon as well. So, and, and the perfect setting that we wanted to bring here to continue to expand step by step, year yeah. after year, this offer of uh, hydrary bone complications. Yeah. How many carats of diamonds are on this piece? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but a lot. I can tell. <laughs> but I can it's completely, cheat. It's completely gem set but on I the bezel. And I can cheat and yeah, I can give it to you. This is an incredible piece. And rose gold on all the bridges as well. Yes. Like solid gold. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, wow. it's, a, it's a full gold caliber that we love too. That we've exposed actually yeah. also in, a, we've, we've done it as well in white gold. Uh, and it, we have it also covered with uh, with uh, as you can see guys there are rubies that are set into this ring on the dial and those represent the different hour markers with an incredible tool beyond at 12 o'clock and on a red alligator strap that matches the red theme of the various red stones that we can find in this watch Red, uh, we have basically a well. bit less than oh. five carats of diamonds wow. in wow. total. Beautiful. Well, I think we should we should end off with maybe the absolute highlight, the surprise that you you yes. said you had for us. Yes. The tourbillon papillon. Yes. And again, it's uh, so this is we maybe we like the we like this this modern approach and sporty approach yes. to hydrology um, that that we continue to develop. And after the. Uh, after the, uh, the the striking uh, tourbillon, wow. we have this wow. uh, new <laughs> tourbillon striking as well. So it's for our wandering ancient... hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for wandering hours, I, I absolutely with a jump. So jumping hours on top, central tourbillon. So this is a construction that we presented two, two yes. years ago. Yes, in a traditional finishing. Right. But again, we enjoy and we feel our space in this modernity, in this combination of modernity and traditional watchmaking is where we have. A, uh, we, we capitalize on, on very much on our expertise yeah. and so this is what we are launching as well so to expand the, the striking collection incredible incredible well Antoine you talked about development and evolution obviously we see the evolution of the Octoroma but I think we also see the evolution of the brand even though you know Bugari traditionally is known for its high jewelry it's you know a, a big luxury brand but it's also accessible with Watches like these, the new Octoroma. How much is this again? This one is in, uh, so I'm going to give you the price in sure. Swiss francs, but it's 7,500 Swiss francs. Incredible, man. Yes. yes. For a design that's completely masculine and feminine when you see from the side. Again, very classic Italian. Roman and Italian design. Delivered course. with one bracelet and one rubber strap. To which you enjoy can change interview, every day. Which right? you can change every hour. Every hour if you like. And if you're very skilled, every minute. Whatever takes your women fancy. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Antoine. It's you're always welcome. a pleasure to speak to Why, you. Well, thank right. you so much. Thank you, always guys. a pleasure to have Check you. Check out the new Off to Roma, guys. It's incredible. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Beautiful, Antoine. Well, really. Thank you. Thank you so much. You make our life easy. <laughs> it's easy to, uh, easy, to yeah. do that.